All right, man. Well, obviously, incredible fight. Uh, man, just, just react. How are you feeling right now? I feel good. I'm just glad to be back in the, into the mix. Uh, short notice fighter. Came in tough as nails. Took a couple good shots, but I battled through it, and uh, I, I fought my fight. He came in with nothing to lose, obviously. I, I got to think you take your hat off to him for what he did. I mean, did he surprise you? What, I mean, what was that like being in there with a guy that was obviously, <coughs> you know, ready to give you a fight? They're not going to pull in just any average Joe to come and fight me. I mean, the guy was 8-0. You really didn't have too much film on him. Uh, he didn't fight for two years. He's been in the, in the works with Six-Gun Gibson and Winkle John and Mike and training with Cowboy and Do Dodson. I mean, you could throw all these names out there, but the kid was tough as nails. He came in on short notice, but he came in and he told me I was predictable. He can't predict that the Darce is going to choke him out. That's what I already predicted that was going to happen. And so, like I said, hats off to Lando. Uh, we got to promote this fight, and uh, the fans got exactly what they wanted. And uh, hopefully, uh, Sioux Falls will have us back here soon. What do you think about the lightweight title picture? I mean, you're certainly right there. I know that had this been, you know, a bigger name opponent, it would be almost a guarantee. But I mean, do you think your willingness to face anybody and to put on that type of performance, do you think that should be enough to get you in that title shot? Oh, of course, man. I've said it before that any fight that I, I go out there and I finish and I come in with style and I, and I, and I go in there with a purpose to get that title. Uh, these guys that are ahead of me, they're going to have to face me one way or another. And it's kind of like one of those, you just keep notching them off at one belt at a time, and they're either going to have to jump ship, go up a weight class, go down a weight class, or they're going to have to sign on the dotted line and face me. And uh, pretty soon they're going to have no choice. He'll be in the ring of Madoff's out there. He's saying that you know he deserves that title shot next. What, I mean, what do you think about <coughs> his resume, and, and, and do you think that, that he should maybe get that shot over you? I think I have a, a better chance of filing for Social Security before he comes back and fighting, man, because that dude just goes and fights, and he, and, he, and he takes some time off. This dude, I don't know what his issue is, but I'm here. I'm ready, and I take on all comers, and uh, including new guys like Landon Venata. Uh, but Khabib Nurmagomedov, uh, you're not going anywhere, bro, and I'm a better wrestler than you. And uh, if wrestling was easy, it would be called Sambo. And what about uh, Eddie Alvarez? And obviously we saw him with an impressive performance. Uh, how do you think you match up? I mean, if that's the fight you get. Uh, Eddie Alvarez, I said it before, he's a sandbagging SOB, except for his last fight. He came out throwing some, uh, some fireworks. Uh, I think I, I'm right up there with all the contenders here in the top five, top three. Uh, I'm still top three. I don't think this last fight is going to do anything for my, my, my placement, but it wasn't purpose for that. My shelf life is to go in there and fight. I'm a fighter. I'm a professional fighter, and I present everything that I've worked on inside, that I have inside that practice room to go out there in that octagon. Words can't express how I feel when I get out there. Win or lose, I try to leave it out there. And no matter who signs on that dotted line, I try to just go out there, do my best, and uh, come back here and say hi to my wife and my son and uh, just move forward. And you came in saying that was fun. I mean, that was a, that was a war. I know that the best way is just get in there, get out quick, and get it done. But you enjoy it. I, I enjoy fights like that. I think the crowd likes fights like that. And I think all my fans that are my true fans like the, the fights that I have like that. I mean, you give give one, take two. You know, you take two, you give one a couple. And with Lando Venata, I knew we were going to have a stand-up battle. I almost wanted to point down to the ground and say, let's just go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And, you know, we'll give that performance. We'll see what happens. But uh, I think that Sioux Falls, they got exactly what they wanted. They got their money's worth. And uh, there wasn't a bad seat in the house tonight this is if the first, you saw my fight. Sorry, first time USC came to Sioux Falls. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Premier Center? What are your thoughts on, you know, how do you think Sioux Falls did hosting? Sioux Falls is amazing. I think it was a great place. The Denny Sanford Arena being close to the hotel made it very, uh, very hospitable. Everybody that was out here was great. The, the area reminded me back home in Michigan. Uh, hopefully soon we can see one of these fights out there in Grand Rapids or Detroit, man. I would love to have it out there in the mitten and uh, just uh, come back out there and do what I do best, and that's come out victorious. Yeah, this was, uh, this was, you know, the sport was just sanctioned a year ago, so it's new for fans out here. Do you feel like the fans got into it? You, you, what was the crowd, ex what was the fan experience like for you compared to fought all around the world. It was like a monster truck rally, man. Everybody was sitting there just yelling, hooting, and hollering. They didn't know what was going on. Punches were flying, blood was flaring, and noses were being broken, man. It's exactly what you want to see, and you want the crowd to see that and react to it. Everybody was on their feet as soon as the fight got done. I don't think there was one bored person out there the whole night.